Hello, good evening. Hello, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, yesterday we were talking about adverbs of sequency, correct? Yes. Adverbs of sequency. Why do we use them? Why do we use adverbs of sequency? First, then, mm -hmm. next, after that, and finally. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And, and why do we use them, Carla? Why do you think we, we use them? Um, I make or what? Uh, no, for example, um, uh, why do we use them? Uh, para que nos sirven? Soft organization. Soft organization, very good. Also, Thank when, you. you're give, when you're giving instructions. Yes. Okay. When you're telling someone how to do something, okay? And we, we, you, we usually use them when someone asks us how, how question. For example, uh, how do you download music to your computer? How do you update your telephone? How do you clear all your messages from your telephone yeah so every time you hear the word how you have to give instructions so think about uh the adverbs of sequency okay for example here in the chat i'm going to put some questions and maybe you can put also questions with how okay so how how do you, how do you, right, download music to your computer, okay? That, that can be a question, okay? Something else, do you, do you have another question? Help me, give me another how question. Give me a how question in the chat. Give me a how question in the chat. Estoy esperando que escriban ustedes. Mm -hmm. How, for example, how do you download music to, to your computer? Okay. Entonces aquí le tengo que dar instrucciones a la persona. Entonces yo voy a empezar. Oh, first you have to uh, go to YouTube, okay? Then you have to select a video. Next you have to download into MP4. Then you have to download it to your computer. So, ahí voy. Okay. So give me a how question. How do you prepare a pizza? Very good. What did we talk about yesterday? Food, right? How do you prepare pupusas? Mm -hmm. How do you prepare pupusas? So there you have to give instructions. Okay, let's sing. Hay otras personas todavía? Rafael, Vladimir. And uh, say Carla, Sara, give me a question. How do you? And then you can give me an instruction. What do you think? Come on, participen. Aquí estamos para participar y aprender. Okay? 
sorry. How, how do you make cookies? Ah, very good. I would like to learn. That's something I would like to learn. How do you make cookies? I would like to learn that. Okay. ¿Qué más? Algo que le gustaría aprender? Something that you would like to learn? For example, how do you prepare a report, a, a PowerPoint presentation? How do you prepare a PowerPoint presentation? How do you make a resume? Very good. Uh huh. How do you make a resume? Uh, what you can do, Valdemir, is first you open Word program. Next, you search for resume in English. Next, you select a template. Finally, you open up the template and you prepare your information. How do you prepare cookie flan? Ah, very delicious. Okay, very good. So this is a good practice to talk about food, right? Food and cooking. So let's talk about food and cooking, okay? Let me just take a picture first. Okay. Uh, let's go to the activity that I have for you today. Okay, today we're going to talk about, we're going, we're going to use sequence adverbs, but we're also going to use vocabulary about kitchen. Okay, yesterday I was, uh, I asked the question, how do you make pupusas or how do, you, how do you make pancakes? Okay, a lot of people les, les faltó mucho vocabulario de cocina, kitchen kitchen vocabulary okay so let's let's look at i don't know if you can see but i'm going to tell you the vocabulary anyways okay number one como se dice cuchillo in english knife knife lo que sostiene los cuchillos knife holder knife holder knife. Okay. Eh, para pesar los ingredientes, los líquidos. Scales. Repeat after me. Scales. Scales. Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice la cocina en sí? El, el aparato electrónico para cocinar, no en sí el, el cuarto. Cooker. Cooker. Uh -huh. That's one way. Okay. Hay otra forma. También, it can, it can be cooker, cooker is good, but you can also say stove. Okay. Stove. 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 Ajá, como una estufa. Aunque antes usaban leña, ¿verdad? Usaban un stove, but some people still use stove. Okay? No puede decir, ¿cómo digo cocina en inglés? Kitchen. Pero no puedo usar kitchen para describir el aparato electrónico. Okay. So I have to say cooker or I can say stove. Okay. Very good. Now, what do I use? What do I use to cook the food? What product do I use to cook the food? Do you see here? What do you have here? Uh, Pot. Alguien me decía, teacher, ¿cómo se dice olla? O cacerola. Ya, ya vamos a ver. Una olla es profunda. Pot. A pot. ¿Cómo se escribe? P-O-T. Okay. Now, what about where you put the food to bake? Do you know what bake is? Ya vamos a hablar de, de diferentes eh, verbos para cocina. Uno de ellos es bake. Bake. Repeat, bake. Okay. Bake. 
So when I say bake, I am talking about. ¿Qué estoy hablando? Oven. Oven. Correct. Right? You can have a big oven like this. Or now. Or now. Casi mucha gente tiene un hornito chiquito in the house. Right? Mm -hmm. Bake. Okay? Bake. Now, hay varias verbos que usamos en la cocina. Ya, ya vamos, a, vamos a hacer una actividad de esa también. Okay. Um, also, eh, ¿cómo se dice hoy entonces? Frying pan. You see? Pot. Frying fry pan. Pot es, es la olla profunda. And then, frying pan. Hola. Okay, perdón. Frying pan. Okay. Yo le dije a algunos, como me preguntaron, teacher, ¿cómo se dice hoy eh, cacerola? Pan. Yo le digo pan. Okay. But you can say frying pan. Okay. Very good. What, are, what other vocabulary do we see here? We have a mixer, a mixer, or blender. Mm -hmm. Blender. Okay. Also, you have a glasses. You can also have toaster. Toaster. Repeat. Toaster. Toaster. And everybody has this. It's very important to have. Microwave. Microwave. Repeat. Microwave. Microwave. Very good. Refrigerator. Repeat. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Free. 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 Gerator. Gerator. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Re. Re. Free. 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 Gerator. Gerator. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yes, very good. Now, some, some, uh, they come in two, two different, uh, the same equipment, but different sections. Repeat, repeat. A freezer. 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 Right, where you put the meat, the ice, the ice cream, okay? Where you put los tamales congelados, right? Las tortillas congeladas. Freezer. 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 Then we have plates where you eat. Plate. Plate. Okay. Plate. Some people have a dishwasher. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, next, we have. Hold on. Let me move this. Hold on. I need to move this. Okay, next, you can have a table. Repeat. Table. Chair. Chair. Cup. Chair. Cup. 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 Now, this can be a kettle. A kettle. Is it like a kettle? Sí. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Puede ser un jarro, ¿verdad? O puede ser algo, algunos vienen, son electrónicos, eh, que pueden hacer la, la, el café. And now, ¿cómo se dice la cafetera en inglés? Coffee maker. Coffee maker, very good, very good. Okay, now, also, something that we didn't see there, all right? So aquí solo estamos aprendiendo vocabulary, because we're going to do an activity. Uh, other utensils. Do you understand what utensils are? You have kitchen utensils. Utensilios. Utensilios, correct. And appliances. Do you understand what appliances are? Appliances. Electrodomésticos, I guess. Yes, yeah. correcto. Electrodomésticos. Repeat, appliances. Appliances. For example, Curaçao, they sell a lot of appliances, okay? 
All right, very good. Now, a different type of utensils that we have. Measuring cup. Repeat, measuring cup. Measuring cup. Para medir, ¿verdad? Medir la leche, medir líquidos. Measuring cup. Measuring cup. Can opener. Can opener. Right, to open the, abrir la, la, la latas, right? Can opener. Para pelar, pelar la, la verdura, las papas, what do we use? A peeler. 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 Now, this is called a grater. A grater. grater. Now, esto grater. es como, ajá, es como lo que usan para, para rajar queso. Como lo que usan para rajar la, la puede, puede ser queso o verduras. No sé cómo le dicen en español. Como para rajar. Let me see. Let me see if I have a... Rallador. Rallador. <laughs> Shredder cooking. Let me see if I have one. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's like this. Algo así. Okay. So this is something like a grater. Solamente que, si ustedes ven aquí, este es un cheese grater. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So this is, this is a cheese grater. So normally we use this one, right? Nos estamos acostumbrados a usar este. Okay. Very good. Let's go back. Están, espero que están aprendiendo bastante vocabulario, right? Because this is important. Uh, colander. Colador. Colador. <laughs> Colander. All right. A save or a, a strainer is often used to separate liquids from solids. Mm, es no sé qué es. So let's look it up. Tal vez en los países allá en, en otros países usan esto. Let me see. Ah, es como un... Do you see? Aha. Uh -huh. This is a saver. Ah, ok. Yo, yo honestamente no, nunca lo usan. Tal vez las personas que hacen eh, cakes. Es un colador, pero diferente. Ah, uh -huh. la gente que hace pasteles, ¿verdad? Right? Tal vez. Uh -huh. Whisk. A whisk. Es un bat el, creo que nosotros le decimos batidor. No, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, W-H-I-S. Yes? Do you see? A whisk. 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 Mm -hmm. Whisk. Whisk. Uh, a ladle. 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 This is a ladle. Para agarrar la sopa. Cucharón. Es como un cucharón. Yes, a ladle. <laughs> ladle. Pot or pan. Oh, pan, ya la vimos, right? Frying pan. Pot is more deep, más profunda. Baking pan. You know what a baking pan is? For example, alguien dijo, I, I want to learn how to make cookies or how do you make cookies? You put it in a baking pan. Okay. Baking pan. Baking pan. Uh, what else? We have... Tongs. Tongs. What do you think is tongs? Used to pick up food. For example, when you're doing a barbecue, how do you grab the meat? You use tongs. Pinces. Yes. Tongs. Very good. Correct. Okay. Appliances for kitchen. Repeat. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. A dish dryer or drainer. Dish dry or drainer or drainer. Dryer. Dish dryer. dryer. Nosotros tenemos drainers. Solo que no sé si a la par donde lavan los trastes. Esa cosita de plástico donde ponen los trastes que están mojados. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A drainer. 
dryer. Mm -hmm. Or you can say dish dryer. Okay. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Or we say oven, right? This is a uh, electric cooker. Esto casi ya no se usa. Gas range or a gas stove. Okay. Tal vez ustedes tienen cocina de, de gas. Okay. How do you say? You can say gas stove. Gas, gas stove. Very good. Blender. Repeat. Blender. 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 What do we use it for? What do we use a blender for? Mixer. Blender mixer. Uh huh. For what? What What can we do with it? Oh, yeah. ¿Qué hacer con ella? Uh -huh. But like what? Like for example, what do what what do you do? But in English. Moses. Huh? What you can, can ask? You can, you can get their meal, and bananas, and strawberry, and do uh, something, something like, like a, that. A smoothie, right? Or, yeah. ¿cómo se dice batido? Mixes liquid. I had to mix liquid, yes. So, ¿qué podemos hacer con él? Um, Andrea creo que dijo smoothies. The smoothies. Um, ¿Qué más podemos hacer? ¿Cómo se dice? Batido. Un batido de leche, de fruta. How do you say it? In English? Let me see. Let me show you. You say, bueno, si es de leche. Milk, shake, eh, chocolate. You can make it frozen too. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice batido? Milkshake. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Okay. Eh, ¿Alguien más dijo? ¿Qué más podemos hacer? Frozen. Ah, frozen. Uh -huh. Frozen. Okay. Toaster. Repeat. Toaster. 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 Grill, grill pan. Group pen. Real pen. Real pen. Mm -hmm. Esto suena como una uh, uh, grill pen. Grill yeah. pen. Mm -hmm. Es como una parrilla. Frying pan. Frying pan. pan. Yeah. Pot. 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 Mire, de aquí viene la palabra cacerola. <laughs> <laughs> Casserole. 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 Imagino que el inglés la copió del latín. <laughs> en ese, ese es el caso en muchas palabras. Ok. What about this? Cake pan. Cake pan. Baking sheet. Baking sheet. Mm -hmm. Or eh, vimos también que se llama baking pan. A rolling pin. Look at this. Para, para la masa. Rolling Copita. pin. Repeat. Para que rolling. se le quede. Díganlo por lo menos una vez. Rolling, rolling pin. pin. Rolling pin. Para la cacerola para café. Tetera. Yaja. In English, kettle. 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 Uh -huh. Ahora se dice coffee maker, right? Esta se dice electric kettle. Electric but kettle. Now we have coffee makers, right? Yeah, más moderno. Um, thermo. Thermo. It's just the same in Spanish, right? Yes. The only thing is that la pronunciación aquí es una th. Thermo. It's like uh, esa te, ese sonido de TH cuando tú dices thank you, thank you, thank you. Thermo. Thermo. Very good. And then we have other tools. Kitchen tools. Kitchen tools. For example, a mesh skimmer 
a lateral spatula, slotted spatula, a beater para batir, okay? No crean que me los puedo todos. Uh, kitchen scissors, kitchen scissors, tijeras for the kitchen. Kitchen scissors. Kitchen scissors, very good. A grater. A grater. 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 Okay. Para colar, para rajar, right? Colander. Colander. For example, you put the pastas there. Bow. 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 Garlic press. Garlic para press. Mm -hmm. Para el ajo. Peeler. 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 For example, to clean the potatoes, to clean the carrots. Peeler. Apple. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apples, uh-huh. Angus. Ice cream soup. A uh, scoop. Ice, Ice cream, cream soup. No, no soup, it's a soup. <laughs> Ice cream scoop. Ice cream Ice scoop. Ice cream scoop. Very good. Can opener. Can, Can opener. opener. Drainer. 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 Bottles. A bottle opener. Ah, para abrir las sodas. Ba bottle bottle op opener. Crook. Cork. Eso se llama un cork. Cork. Se pone albino. Lo que corcho. viene. Corcho. Cork. 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 All right. And then here you have more, more vocabulary, right? Mm -hmm. No Very lo pueden enviar. Disculpe el WhatsApp. Sí, esta página yo la, yo la, no sé, yo la vi a, ayer y está súper, es súper bonita. Mm -hmm. Ok, ya okay. se la voy a mandar. All right, very good. So, look, teapot. Para poner el té, Te como, como en los países. Ajá, uh -huh, teapot. Um, ¿Cómo se dice donde yo puedo poner el café? You can say a mug. 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 Coffee cup. Coffee cup. Como el, res, como el restaurante, coffee cup. Tea cup. Tea cup. Plate. 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 Bowl. 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 Ah, so this is very important, right? Plate and bowl. Bowl. Okay. Then you and have. bowl is for soap. It can be for soup or salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cereal. Okay. Eh, donde pongo el iced tea, el kool el, el fresco natural. Pitcher. 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 Pichel. Casi. Ajá, pichel. Pitcher. Casi, ¿verdad? Muchas de estas palabras su, suenan igual, ¿verdad? Mm, eh, se comparten mucho los... Okay. So, what is the difference between... Aquí hay... Ex... Varias. Eh, El huevo, ¿cómo sería? Egg cup. Egg cup. Egg cup. Mm -hmm. Egg cup. Now, hay una palabra que suena igual. Picture. Foto. Repeat. Picture. Picture. And this one is... Picture. Picture. ¿Cuál es, cuál es la diferencia? <laughs> okay, so, pronunciation. This one, pick. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Algo así. Picture. Picture. Okay. What about this one? Picture. Pit. And then say chat. Picture. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, Rafael. Let me see. Pronunciation. Picture, picture. Rafa, ¿estás ahí? <laughs> Rafa, ¿se durmió? Okay, Vladimir, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Repeat. Picture, picture. 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 Ajá, uh -huh, casi, ¿verdad? Right? This one is pick. Pon, pick. Ponle como una K. Pick. Picture. 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 Pick. 
Picture. picture. Ajá, ahí está. Lo que no tiene esa, ese sonido de K. No existe. Picture and picture. Ajá, there you go. Very good, very good, Madame. Ok. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see. What else we have? En un restaurant. Restaurant. Napkin. 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 Fork. Fork. Spoon. Spoon. Okay. And knife. 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 Okay. Very good. So, en un restaurante cinco estrellas. This is butter knife. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, hay varios. Hay varios cuchillos aquí. So, yeah, um, di there's different knives, right? Me imagino si te traen un bistec, no te van a dar este cuchillo. But, <laughs> I know, I only know that there is a fork for pasta and a fork for salad. El chiquito de salad. <laughs> Solo eso sí. Eh, el right. chiquito de postre, profe. Ah, ok. Y el de sal ensalada, el, el grande. Ajá, el pequeñito de tres puntas siempre es para postre. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yes, sí, you can tell, I don't know. <laughs> so, muchas cosas que no sabemos. Really, honestly, there's a lot of things I don't hear. I don't know. Uh, glassware, ¿qué quiere decir glassware? Vaso para agua. No, sino que se está, está hablando de una categoría. Nosotros le decimos en español, hay una palabra... No sé dónde viene en el español, sino simplemente nosotros le decimos China. <laughs> Refiriéndose a todo lo que es de vidrio. So, the uh, same glass. thing. Ajá, uh -huh, but glassware, la palabra wear quiere decir como eh, variedad. Ok. So, for example, glassware quiere decir, for example, if I go to Google and I put glassware, me va a salir diferentes cosas. Glassware. Uh, glassware. Do you see? Me salen different things. Okay. Sí, porque glasses es lente, va, de vidrio. Glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So glassware, me estoy refiriendo a todo esto. Okay. Nosotros en español le decimos, bueno, aquí en el salvadoreño le decimos China. Right? Todo lo que es de China. Pero en realidad no es de China, sino que... We, the in English, glassware. Glassware. Okay, very good. So, For example, uh -huh. say, or, homeware is hardware. like uh, an electrical example. Uh, hardware. Como Home. Home. Homeware. Home. Yes. Homeware. Uh -huh. Yo creo que se está refiriendo a todo tipo de cosas de la casa, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Homeware. Okay. Tal vez han ido a tiendas así como, como Sears, right? And they have the homeware department. Where is the homeware department? Where is the glassware department? Where is the kitchen department, right? So all that is important. Okay, and then okay, definitions. If you want to find definitions here. Okay, now, esto quería hablar con ustedes. Verbs. We're going to talk about verbs for, verbs for cooking, okay, or for preparing food, okay. Cut. Cut. Can you see? Cut. Like for example, vegetables, right? Cut. Cortar. Right. Chop. Repeat. Rebanar. Chop. Chop. Okay. Chop. ¿Qué quiere decir chop? Like, uh, partir. No, partir is cut, but chop is como, like, for example, no sé si han visto cuando están cortando cerdo, algún tipo de carne, cuando están preparando carne o algo así. Chop. Chop. So, normally, for cutting, you're going to use a small knife, right? In English, como para hacer filete, para filetear, algo así. Puede ser. Puede ser, pero tal vez tiene que ver más con, let me see if I show you a picture. Uh, chop food. Let me see. Eh, no sé si me sale el verbo. Ajá. For example, right here, you have a picture, okay? 
Picar, entonces. Es como picar, ajá. Yes. Okay, chop. For example, ¿han visto los chefs? Así en, en television, right? Que lo hacen yes. bien rápido. Chop. Slice. 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 Slice es casi como cortar, solamente que es como más fino, right? Slice. En rebanar. Slice. Ajá. O cuando viene el, el pavo, Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. Y lo, lo ponemos ya listo para cortar, entonces we say slice. Okay? Slice. Very good. Great. Repeat. Great. 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 ¿Qué quiere decir great? Rayar. Raspar. Raspar, rayar. Very good. Peel. 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 Mm -hmm. Peel. What, what instrument do we use? Peeler. ¿Cómo se, Peeler. ¿cómo se llama? A pillar. Peeler. Very good. Pillar. Y esto se llamaba a grade, grater. ¿Se acuerdan? Mm -hmm. Grater. Entonces, el verbo, great. El producto, great. greater. Do you greater. remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Algunos de esos productos vienen del verbo, for, for example, uh, greater, Peeler. right, and great. Peeler and peel. Okay. All right, next. Okay, for example, you're cooking soup. Stir. 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 Right. Menear. Right. Move the soup. For example, teacher, ¿cómo dice? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? Stir. Stir. Uh, es como, es casi así. La I, como lo voy a decir en inglés. The I is silent, almost. Like, uh, no sé si ustedes han visto las vocales, vowel sounds, right? Tienen un low sound and a high sound. Okay. Se le conoce también como long or short. El, el problema del inglés que cada vocal tiene dos, dos sonidos. Ok. So. Very good. High sound. So the, this one is like a e. E. Stir. Stir. Ok. Stir. All right, the next, whisk, whisk, okay? Viene whisk. Ajá, uh -huh. como batir, right? Whisk. whisk. ¿Y cómo se llamaba el producto? ¿Cómo se llamaba el instrumento? Perdón. Whisker. Whisker. Ajá. Uh -huh. The next, next. Saute. What is, what is it in uh, whisk, batir. Yes. Ah, okay. Whisker is the instrument. Hola, Sele. Okay. Next, saute. Repeat, saute. ¿Qué quiere decir saute? Saltear. Oh, saltear, exacto. Como vegetales, saltear. Salt. Okay, perdón. Salt. Salt. Sal, saute, 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 saute. Posiblemente esa palabra viene de otro idioma, tal vez el francés, suena como francés. Saute, saute. Okay. saute. Next, pour, pour. Okay. Quiere decir pour, for example, when you put, like when you're eating cereal in the morning, okay, you pour milk in the bowl. Now, aquí viene otra palabra que también usamos para carnes. Carve. Carve. Carve the turkey. Carve. For example, Thanksgiving, lo que hacemos, eh, chompipollo o pavo. Carve. Carve the turkey. Okay, now next. Cook. 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 Okay. Ya es el verbo, el cocinar, right? Cook. Cook. Bake. 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 ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre cook y bake? 
Cook es eh, cocinar y bake es hornear. Hornear, very good, ajá. Uh -huh. Bake. Bake. ¿Cómo se llama el instrumento o la, el appliance? The appliance that we use for bake. What's the name of it? Baker. Baker. Uh -huh. Baker. Okay. Boil. Repeat. Boil. 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 It's like, aquí, aquí tiene la palabra oil, como aceite. But then uh -huh. you put B. Boil. 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 Suena como boy and L. Boil. Boil. Mm -hmm. Boil. Very, very good. The next one is broil. 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 Mm -hmm. Fry. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Yo creo que broil es casi como hornear. ¿Ya? Yeah? Something like broil. For example, broil. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Es decir, lo ponemos al horno, pero lo ponemos a la un... parrilla. Es como asar. Asar. Ajá. Puede ser a fuego, puede ser en, en, en un horno. Do you see? Broil. Broil. Okay. Next one. Fry. 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 Like a, what do we use for fry? Frying pan. Frying pan. Mm -hmm. Frying pan. Very good. So here we use oil and we use a pan and you heat it. Um, for the vegetables, steam. Repeat. Steam. 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 Very good. Okay. Todos esos son verbos. Ojo. Todos esos son verbos. Scramble. Scramble. Bar. ¿Qué quiere decir scramble? For example, have you ever heard of scra scramble eggs? Revolver. Revolver. Ajá. So, digamos que voy a un restaurante en Estados Unidos y yo quiero pedir huevos revueltos. How do I say it? Eggs scramble. Scramble eggs. Ajá. Primero, scramble eggs. Mm -hmm. Scramble eggs. Yes. Right? For example, you go to a restaurant and you say, please, can I have scramble eggs? All right? Sunny side oh. egg. Sunny side up is a, a, ¿cómo se llama? Estrellado. For example, eggs. Uh, you have a scramble, que ya vimos. And then you have sunny side up. No sé por qué le dicen así. Yeah. Sunny side up. Do you see? Sunny side up. huevo estrellado. <laughs> Ese huevo estrellado. Sunny side up. Eggs sunny side up. Yes. Sunny side up. I don't know. Sunny así le dicen. Side. Es como el sol. Es co lo que está diciendo es como el lado del sol. Yellow. Sunny side up. Okay. Sunny so, side up. Sunny side up. Here, eggs. Right? Estrellado. Right? No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Really, I mean, sunny side up no tiene sentido. Igualmente estrellado. Estrellado tiene sentido. Estrellado Pero, cuando algo, algo se golpea con otra cosa, como un carro estrellado. <laughs> right? So, igualmente, los idiomas tienen estos tipos de palabras que que, no sé, a veces no tiene sentido. All right, next. Barbecue. Barbecue. Barbecue puede ser un verb o puede ser eh, el objeto. Barbecue. Or barbecue. you can say grill. 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 Here we use fire, right? We can use, eh, you can use, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Asar. Sí, pero está eh, carbón. ¿Cómo se dice? Al carbón. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of the translation. Eh, charcoal. Charcoal. 
charcoal. Carbon. Charcoal. Mm -hmm. Charcoal. Okay. En realidad, Char tiene sonido porque coal es... Eh, let me see. Coal. Mine. Donde sacaban la, eh, las minas. Mm. Y ahí viene. Ok. Next. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. For example, do you see? It's a big bowl. You have oil. And then you mix. ¿Quiénes cocinan así bastante? Yo. Sí, pero una, un, un país que, o una, una gente de un país que, que cocina mucho. Así. China cocina así. Yes, Chinese. Chinese, Chinese food. Chinese. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lo mismo, toda esa comida de Asia, right? Chinese food. Microwave. Microwave. Mi microwave. It can be a verb also. Okay. For example, si ustedes compran un producto, atrás hay instrucciones si están en inglés. Y va a decir, bueno, se puede cocinar, please microwave for five minutes. Right? So it can be also a verb. Okay. Algunas Teacher, pueden ser. How, yes. how do you say basurero in English? Basurero, garbage can. Garbage, garbage can. can. Garbage trash can. can. Or you can say trash can. También. Trash can or trash. garbage can. Garbage can. Mm -hmm. Garbage can. Both, both are correct. All right. So we have, eh, le voy a poner todo, todo este link, se lo voy a poner. Okay. Pero le voy a poner esta foto en WhatsApp. Okay. Sí, Good preparation. Lista. ¿Ah? Se le olvidó el pase de lista. Eh, lo, lo tomé la foto, se me olvidó ponerla en el grupo de WhatsApp, ah, pero sí, okay. sí tomé la foto. Eh, voy a tomar otra, ah, permítame. Ah, ok. Le voy a pasar el link a esta página, está súper interesante. Espero que han aprendido algo de vocabulario. Okay. Let's go, let's go to a speaking activity. We have 10 minutes, okay? So let's go to a speaking activity. Vamos a, a describir, for example, how una persona puede preguntar, how do you cook pancakes? And then the other person can describe, okay? Pueden decir sequence verbs, uh, first, next, also, finally, okay? You can also use that. Very good. Let's go to groups right now. No sé. Ok, hagamos, hagamos la, lo que estábamos haciendo ayer, ¿se acuerdan? Usamos los eh, sequency adverbs, ok. Por uh, ejemplo, how do you prepare, how do you prepare uh, a sandwich? Pizza. How do you prepare pizza? pizza? Ok. Mm -hmm. how I'm do sorry, you... it wasn't yesterday. <laughs> We were ok. Doing... Ya viste, viste la sección 4, al final de la 4, la sección 4, donde estaba hablando de los eh, adverbs of sequence. Uh, uh, no, but I, I, I know a little bit about. Ok, ok. Do you remember, uh, for example, 
Uh, first, also, next. Ay, regalame un poquito de café. Finally. Okay. Do you remember those words? Verbs and? Estos se llaman adverbs of frequency. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Eh, es la sección 4.4. Sequence adverbs. Do you remember? Okay. We use, for example, first, then, no. next, after, finally. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So explain to Sara how do you prepare a sandwich? Sandwich. Okay. Uh, for example, I slice two pieces. Okay. Uh, and for that, I put the tomato. And oh my gosh. No. How do you say lechuga? Lettuce. 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 Yeah, you put uh, tomato and lettuce and uh -huh. hummus. Hello? Ham. Ham. Jam. No, not oh? jam. Ham. 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 Oh, okay. With and for that, I, I put a piece of ham. And I put okay. the, another, another brief breath. Okay. Very good. Now, if you add first, next, then, also, finally. <laughs> Al principio de cada paso, si tú le pones eso, suena uh -huh. mucho mejor. Se entiende mucho okay. mejor. Let, uh, uh, can I try? Yeah, yeah, try. Go. Okay. First of all, you slice two pies of bread. Uh -huh. And next, you put tomato, lettuce, and another vegetable that you want. Uh -huh. And next, uh, you put Hello? And uh, you put um, a slice of ham. Okay. And finally, you, you put another bread. Another bread. Very good. See? ¿Sí? Better. Better. Se entiende mejor, right? Cuando pones los pasos. Okay. Yeah. Sara, how do you prepare a... What is, what is your favorite food? Que no sea muy complicado la comida. ¿Qué pasó? What Me is your favorite... Hello? Uh, sorry, no sé qué pasa con mi teléfono. Permítame, profe, este se fue al WhatsApp de un solo. Eh, say me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok, no problem, no problem. All right. Eh, Rafael. Yeah. How do, you, how do you make pancakes? Pancakes. Oh my gosh, we saw the, the bear right now. Uh, First? Oh, this, yeah, uh, well, first you prepare the mezcla. The mix? The mix. The mix. Um, you can do it with milk or with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And next you, um, you prepare in the stuff your frying pan. Uh -huh. And putting a little bit of oil, and then you to put the um, you put the mix a little bit a little bit of the mix in the frying pan, of course, when it's, uh, boiling. And finally, you just just wait for for be ready. I don't know uh, para que esté listo. Yeah, right. Be ready, right. Solo esperas okay. para que esté listo. Sería, and you just wait for be You wait done. until it's ready. Until it's ready. Okay. Okay, very good. So, we have five more minutes. Continue practicing, right? Use the adverbs of, of sequency. First, next, then, also, finally. Okay? Okay. These are really delicious. <laughs> But I prefer the desserts. 
Yeah, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Okay, very good. I hope you learned uh, a lot of vocabulary. Uh, tell me, how do you make, how would you make a pizza? Make a what? Sorry. A pizza. pizza. Andrea, you can't. <laughs> how do you make a pizza? Or let's see, I'm going to give you the, the way that la masa ya hecha. I'm going to give you the dough. How do you say masa in English? The dough. Dough. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you the dough. Ready. What do you do? First, put the sauce. Okay. And the dough. Okay. Um, uh, then. Add the cheese? Oh, yeah, cheese and jam. Mm -hmm. ham. ham. Ham, yeah, ham. Okay. And next, um, salt and papers. Mm -hmm. And after that, you, you bake it. Good, good. And finally, enjoy the pizza. Good, good job. Okay, very good. Next. Um, let's see, another easy meal. How do you make spaghetti? Maybe a spaghetti with, with meat and, and sauce. First, cook the meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then cook the it's sp it's spaghetti um, in the water. Uh -huh. For a few minutes. Okay. Next, uh, put the uh, spaghetti with the meat okay. and sauce. And after that, mix the mm -hmm. spaghetti with the meat. Mm -hmm. And finally, put salt. Um, maybe a little bit of, uh, I don't know, how do you say cilantro? The same. Is it the same? Right. The same. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good, good job, good job. So? Good, excellent job. Okay, we're gonna go back now, but I hope okay. that you learned uh, vocabulary, okay? And I'm going, okay. To, I'm going to put the page that we saw today in, in WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, okay, very good, welcome. All right, I hope you learned something about kitchen, about uh, cooking, different uh, appliances, utensils. Como ven, solo un tema y mucho que aprender, right? Mm -hmm. Así es en el inglés, pero si, si les gusta un tema, ustedes pueden aprender, okay? Eh, si les gusta el deporte, hay mucho que aprender, vocabulario de deporte. Si les gusta eh, traveling, Entonces pueden ver páginas de, uh, de esas páginas que van a diferentes países, videos, so that you can learn vocabulary, okay? ¿Quieren tener fluidez? Tienen que incrementar el vocabulario. 
All right, very good. I'll see you uh, next week, okay? And next week, we're going to finish section five and the test next week, and then we're finished. Okay. okay. All see right. you next week, teacher. Thanks. Have a good night. Good night.